it seems that once again all of the major realms of the world are fighting their own civil wars including ours even though ours is almost over and uh, in all of this strife among nations the Knights of Santiago have lost all of their territory in the uh, Emirate of Galicia. There's only one explanation, and that is that a member of my dynasty became the Pope. At some point, I don't know when or how, but they did. So, uh, good for us, I guess, right? Anyway, I need to finish this war. Oh, that was, there was something else I wanted to do. I was looking last time for people of the Castilian culture. I think I was looking specifically at my religion. But I think I want to go with a different kind of strategy almost. Married, no, or any, not a ruler course in Diplo range and sort by culture again I'm looking for somebody Castilian and I did look through the list before between episodes and I found someone this has got to be an easier way to do that than just scrolling with the mouse wheel Uh, tons of Bedouins, Berbers, Bohemians, Bulgarians, Croatians. Catalan. Castilian. There are four. She's married, so I don't think I can invite her. He's Sunni, but I think I might be able to get away with doing something interesting. Um, he will not accept because he found his calling. And she actually probably would accept. So, um, the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to send this guy a gift. Can I do this with her? No. Uh, and her a gift as well. That increases their opinions to high enough that I can buy favors with each of them. It's kind of a waste of money just to get a culturally correct Iberia, but um, I will get those uh, favors. And he's a member of the Umayyad. He's a Castilian Sunni. He has got some claims on various titles, the Emirate of Alger and the Umayyad em Emirate, um, which is the Emirate of Toledo. He's also a Said, And he accepts, so I'm going to go to invite to court. I have a false religion, but I can actually spend my favor to invite him to court. And do the same with her. And there we go, we have two Castilian courtiers. And this guy. Alright, that was what I want, wanted to wait on. So, I want also to arrange a marriage with him to somebody. He's 36, I don't know. Yes, just arrange some kind of marriage. Let's invite a debutante. We're already spending money that we don't have. Um, she's not exactly what I want, but she'll work. Arrange marriage. And 
I'm going to go ahead and grant him... Actually, I'm going to demand his religious conversion first. And I also wanted to have her marry someone. Um, we'll go with the 26 year old bastard of our dynasty. We'll go with matrilineal. Oh wait, maybe that was a bad idea. No, I'm fine with that, actually. And I also want to... I'm also going to grant one of these two titles to my brother. Which one's the capital? The Astorius de Oviedo. My brother, right. No, I want to gra grant him a story of There. And now that that's in his hands, I want to find the guy I invited. There. And he will accept the religious conversion, hopefully. We're losing sieges. He submits to my council. He's Catholic now. He's married to a Catholic girl. And he is going to get a story to Oviedo. He'll also ultimately get the duchy. So, at the same time, we're perpetuating the Castilian culture and also perpetuating our dynasty, in a way. Gotta keep an eye on the sieges, so that, or on the war score at least. Even though we're probably gonna, we're definitely gonna win. Uh, haha, he who lasts last, lasts longest. Finally, that craven debaucher, craven debaucher, Duke Lacknat, has left this fine earth. Uh, life is too short for hate. It's about time I'd change my ways. I gain kind. I will take that because that's more opinion with vassals. This is. If only I could get rid of Slothful. Eighty-three percent, and we'll go try to siege down the last county that we're not working on yet. It's because they're sieging all of the territory in Jerusalem. As my troop ran troops ransacked ransack the castle of Dunbritain, they uncovered an interesting relic that Earl Oswulf had hidden there. Wonderful news, an engraved sword, which I don't want because I think that prevents the uh, not an honorary title. I think that prevents the event chain for uh, crown jewels. I don't have anything to base my theory on, but it didn't, I never have it fire whenever I have any co combination of crown jewels in my treasury. So I'm basing it off of experience. 91% from that battle. I can go into hiding because someone's trying to kill me. Who is it? Who's trying to kill me? Uh, the Countess of Astorga. Sure, end your plot. Stop doing that. That seems like something like a person who is a lunatic or possessed might do to start plotting to kill me right away. Who can I arrest? Um... Okay. I, can usurp the petty kingdom of Dehubarth? And that's because... Uh, 
Okay, I guess. Um, apparently, Kamla of Phelan has pressed his cl uh, some kind of claim on the county of Dyfed. So, just the county of Jaffa has converted to Catholic faith, and I just realized something else that I have been meaning to do. It looks like the Emperor Empire of Pomerania, or not Empire, Kingdom of Pomerania is up in Iceland now. I need to fabricate a claim on them because I can't declare a holy war for Iceland. Too far away. I have another uh, relic, a ruby scepter. That's not his, that's mine. Or other way around, that's not mine, that's his. I mean, yeah, these are all good, but I think not. Not search. Oh, I can actually tell people to search for an artifact. Just search for the artifact now. Sure. I lose some tax income, but again, I think yes, we'll try to find it. Could be the Holy Grail for all I know. And I meant to give him the Ruby Scepter. 99%. Basically, what, a month? Less than a month. A few days. The revolt is over. Let's go kick the raiders off my land. We're probably not going to make it before they uh, sack that first holding. Probably going to destroy the castle town or the keep. I have the Grandmaster of the Knights Templar in, in prison. I'll ransom him. For some gold. His opinion's not too bad of me. Um, other prisoners of that war, though, have lost their uh, claim to any titles that they have in my realm, and I will be revoking them shortly. The White Stag. Lately, you have heard persistent rumors from peasants and travelers in the wilds that a strange mythical beast has been sighted in your realm. Send people to find it. Nope, they didn't destroy anything. Cool. Alright, we'll stand everything down. Get, make sure my retinue is going back to my capital. My cap is now just under 10,000. Meaning I can pretty much double my... Uh, just over double my retinue once I have the money to do so. Usurp a title. Speaking of which... I should probably start pressing the county claims for these, but not right now. Have to do some management real quick. Okay, this guy has a lot of titles. So he'll lose the, count the Duchy of Lulaid. Um... Apparently that's all I can revoke from him. It's her too, right? Yes. Give me the duchy and the county. I don't think I can revoke it to the other one, can I? No. Okay. 
He's Anglo-Saxon. He's Anglo-Saxon. Hmm. That sucks. I kind of want her to have that title back. Well, it's going to go to his relatives anyway. So, let's go with the Duchy of Wessex. And I'm going to try to arrest this guy as well. Hopefully I fail. Just because he has three titles and they have to go somewhere. And I don't want them all under the same vassal. Can arrest some other people, I think. Earl of Gloucester. And of course the Earl of Storga, but I'm not going to worry about him right now. Let's see what who has the best or the highest opinion of me? 34. 24. Go with 34. She in prison too? Yes. By me. Might as well try to do this now. And it failed. That's kind of what I wanted. Actually, I also wanted to do something else. Create the Duchy of Brittany. Except the guy I want to kind of want to give it to is leading a revolt war to increase council power. That's fine. We're already in Chester. I'll raise my own personal levies for this. Don't want to usurp that, but They've sieged down the trade post. And apparently they have some... Uh, some troops. A decent amount of them. Did that again. I didn't mean to. Put all the retinue into one flank I will actually move them over to one of the others just so we have a little bit of a balance Hopefully we can win this battle. Uh, he wants to sign a non-aggression. The king of Sax Saxony wants to sign a non-aggression pact with me. King Adolf. All right. We've received credible, credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Stag in the county of Kildare. Uh, there is a new Grand Mayor of the Republic of Gwynedd. He's 42. And it looks like the other... These two titles are staying... Uh, 
decentralized, so they're not going to the same guy. Let's chase, chase after them. Oh yeah, I want I did want to create a create this duchy. Pistorius. And now hopefully okay, he all they're already pregnant. That is good. And it's agnatic cognatic, so there should be he should have an heir who is Castilian, no matter what. An epic hunt it shall be, still going after White Stag. Fruitlessly scouring the countryside, you come upon, upon a small cottage in the wilds. As you knock, a beautiful young woman opens. She pauses, then gives you a warm, inviting look and says, It's very lonely out here. I wonder if you'll, you will stay the night. Of course. Next morning, you awake with a warm body next to you. You spent a long, pleasant night in the cabin, but it's time to get back to the world outside. This was nice, but I have to go. Come back to court with me. Um... I have to go. I don't really want a lover in my court right now. My marshal has come to you with a suggestion. I'm sure, we'll make somebody a commander. Keep going after his army. I'm going to guess they're going to Somerset, actually. Good guess. Where's this capital right here? Yeah. We won the tr trade post back. So. That's great, I guess. I can split my army. That's not, I thought I clicked half, but now that I think about it, we'll chase after with the retina. Probably going to Chester because they seem to favor their own lands. This is not I lose Brave, which kind of sucks. They're going to come after me. I'm having dinner and plenty of drinks. Drinks with Earl Bert Noth of Westmoreland tonight. It's lovely, yet what I am most charmed by is him, uh, Burtonoth himself. Why else would I not immediately stop our conversation, which has slowly begun to touch upon something, almost, some almost heretical ideas, questioning the salvation of God. If we do not ask questions, why did God make us curious? Uh, we should not speak of this. Sure, let's not speak of this, because uh, I think that leads down the path of heresy. We've captured the Count of Devon. Huh. Must have declared independence from Cornwall. We can ransom him, actually, which will be great. I wish you could kick people out of war if you captured them. My nephew needs an education or an upper, uh, early childhood education. Let's go with thrift. 
No, uh, faith. I think. Because I don't think he is like in the top three to be a ruler. Might be close, but. Anyway, I've begun another civil war and hopefully I can end it sooner than the last one. Well, uh, quicker than the last one took, so. Uh, this isn't going as quite as I thought it would. I lose more men per battle than I had planned, and the sieges, the sieges are going on forever. Uh, ask for money. Money is always good. He said no. Oh, I inherited the Duchy of Dalriada. Along with the other two. Search realm, load first filter. Actually, I keep I mentioned dynastic perpetuation and always being a good thing. Let's look for of my dynasty. Um opinion? Find someone who's not really the heir to anything, or being close to the heir to anything. My half brother. He's the heir to the Duchy of Essex. She will inherit something eventually. County of Bersheb. Jaffa, Duchy of Albany. Middlesex, my nephew, will inherit something. My other nephew, who is less likely to inherit something. He's the one whose education I just picked. So um, I'm going to say yes, actually, to my nephew. Because if I recall, those are both Irish already, and they don't need to be converted. And most of Northern Scotland is actually converted to Irish. That's cool. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here.